Hello, this is Brother Cromar from the Math Department here at BYU-Idaho. And I'll be talking about Lesson 5, which is Normal Distributions. And there will be a playlist uh, in, in uh, YouTube that will have these uh, series of videos that will discuss Lesson 5 with Normal Distributions. And this is what we'll cover in these uh, series of slides. First of all, we'll be talking about the density curve. Okay, what, it, what is a density curve? Then we'll discuss the 68-95-99.7 rule followed by a z-score. What is a z-score and why do we use it? And some of that y is going to step four, which is converting the z-score to a probability. And then number five is percent, uh, calculating percentiles for normal distributions. And in lesson three, we talked about percentiles, but we're going to get into more fully how we can calculate a percentile with the normal distribution. And then step six is QQ plots, and those are the plots that we can use to assess normality. So first of all, let's talk about the density curve. The density curve, any density curve, here a normal distribution is an example of a density curve. You can have a rect you can have a triangle, a rectangle, whatever. But anyways, with the density curve, the first rule is the total area under the curve equals one. This goes back to what we dealt with in lesson four with probability. The probability, the quote unquote sum of all probabilities must equal one. And then we'll have probabilities within this normal distribution curve that can range between zero and one. The second rule of a density curve is that the density curve always lies on or above the horizontal axis. So here's the horizontal axis, and so all the probabilities must be above it. It must probabilities going back to lesson four are positive; they can never be negative. So these are the two rules of a density curve, and what we'll be focusing on the primary density curve we'll be covering in lesson five is the normal distribution. Okay, so now with the normal distribution, let's talk about the 68-95-99.7 rule. Okay. So the empirical rule is that approximately 68% of all data fall within one standard deviation away, of the, uh, away from the mean. And then 95% or approximately 95% of all the data fall within two standard deviations of the mean. And then 99.7% of all data fall within three standard deviations away from the mean. And what we can do is, is that when we are concerned about how many standard deviations we are from the mean, we can determine, for instance, what a lower value is and what an upper value is. For instance, if we want, if we have a mean of say 15 and a standard deviation of 2, approximately 95% of the data will fall between which two numbers. We can use uh, the mean and standard deviation to come up with an upper value and a lower value. However, I strongly recommend you get you all using uh, the normal distribution, uh, sketching it to, to visualize it and see what you can do with that. Now, here's an example of a problem where is the mean incubation time of a fertilized chicken egg is kept at a certain temperature and is 21 days. Incubation times are normally distributed with a standard deviation of one day. According to the empirical rule, approximately 95% of incubations will have times between which two values. So we're dealing with 95% of the data, so that's fall, that falls within two standard deviations away from the mean. So what we do is we take the mean, plus or minus two standard deviations, and then we times the standard deviation, which is, which is one here, which is one. And so what we do is that we take two times one, we get 2, and then we add and subtract that from 21 to get 19 and 23. So what that means is that 95% of all the data fall with between 19 and 23 days. What I don't know what I'd recommend you doing is sketching a normal distribution. Okay, And say, for instance, the center, if the mean is 21, we would add and subtract a standard deviation. So if, we, if the standard deviation is equal to, so if the mean is 21 and the standard deviation is 1, we would add, we would add one standard deviation from the mean to get uh, 22, and then 23, and then 24. And then we would subtract a standard deviation on, uh, once, twice, and three times on the left side. And so those that are one, that, those values that are one standard deviation away from the mean, 68% of the data would fall within that. 95% of the data would fall within two standard deviations, and 97% of the data would fall within three. Now the reason why I recommend you sketching this is because I can ask this question in two different ways. I can ask uh, approximately 95% of the data will fall between which two numbers? And you can see here that it's 19 and 25. Or I can ask the question, um, what percentage of data fall between 19 and 23? So I can ask it both ways. So if you have a sketch like this, it'll be useful for you when it comes to sketching uh, the 68, 99.7 rule. And on the next video, I will continue this with another example.